is a stream that is a private stream, but it'll be live around 2 p.m. Eastern when you're seeing it. Um, anybody that watched my last two videos from last night knows how bad my pitching is going. Let's see if, of all people, Tyler Wells can right the ship for the Orioles. My God. Things have got to get better because I can't get much worse. Hello, baseball fans, and welcome. Today, the finale of this three-game weekend set it's the Baltimore Orioles going up against the Kansas City Royals. John Chomby, Chris Singleton with you. So the Kansas City Royals have taken the first two games of this series, and today they'll go for the sweep. They played well, Chris, and they're looking for more of the same in this one. Yeah, Allowed them to hit 417 in the series. That's terrible. Game so far. Played solid baseball to earn those wins, as you said. But every game offers up its own unique challenges. So we'll see what those are today. But there's always a little extra motivation when you have an Yesterday is gone. Today is a new day. Um, I want to give you guys some content. I don't know what my... I really don't know what my day is going to look like. So this live stream that's going to turn into a video maybe the only kind of maybe the only quote-unquote stream you get today five different spots for me starting rotation you've got to have people round things out and not everyone's going to pitch like a number one or number two every outing or every season but last year he gave his team an opportunity and a chance to win every time he took the mound on average and when you look at that kind of performance it has a place on every ball club First pitch, 110. Swing and a miss. I think I'm trying to be too particular around the zone. In the air, center field. Waters on his way in. Makes the grab, tracks it down after the long run. And there's one down. Time now to take a look at the Orioles lineup put together by manager Brandon Hyde. And no doubt a big factor in this series so far, Anthony Santander. And one of the most hitting his not been he can bat anywhere the problem. in that order, and he can play anywhere on the field. Not just the outfield, the infield as well. Adley oh. Rutschman in the box now. No balls and a strike. Now just a cement mixer slider right there. It's a great pitch to hit if you can recognize it early and jump on it. Oh. Just off the inside edge. As a veteran out there on the ball, you're trying to establish both edges of the plate. Right here, he's working inside. Pitch misses, and it's two and one. That's a strike. Swing and a miss, and he struck him out. Two out. Well, oftentimes that's the pitch he's trying to set up, the curveball. He'll lean on it pretty heavily, so you've got to be expecting it. Look for it and sell out so you don't miss it when you get it. Now here is Gunnar Henderson. Liner, and that there we go, Gunner. Around first and hustle Liner, I hardly knew her. And he starts his afternoon off right with a double. Man, those are the types that of hits cool. where you don't feel the any right vibration in your hands yeah, whatsoever. Yeah. Such a good feeling. Loud contact leads to the double. I mean, you could tell it had extra bases written all over it as it jumped off of his stick. And it's scoring position with two away. Anthony Santander at the plate. And that is cut on and miss. And that's strike one. Well, there's a chance right here for one of the better hitters on this roster to get him on the board in the first. Thanks to the three-hole hitter extending the inning. Good at bat with two outs. Swing and a miss. 
Oh, as he was out front that time. Not even close there. Ball one. Two outs and one in scoring position. Next pitch misses. I definitely think they've cut down the between pitch activity because of the pitch clock. Got him looking. That's a strikeout. One hit, one left. On to the bottom of the first. No score. Back here at Kauffman Stadium. And on the hill today, Tyler Wells. Chris, what should we keep an eye on here with him? Well, they're going with the opener in this one. So this is an interesting look. He's probably only going to pitch an inning, maybe two at the most. And it's going to be unconventional. I think he's going to pitch backwards, more off speed, and then fastballs late. Bottom of the first. And now it's going to be number 11. Pitch misses there. One ball, one strike. So right there, just trying to straighten him up a little bit so he doesn't have as much outside plate coverage. On the ground. And that chance handled. Gathers and throws the first. One up there we go. Now. And let's take a look at the lineup. Someone who makes things happen for them, in part with his legs, Bobby Witt Jr. Ah. He had four hits his last time out, and when you look at the way that a season can go, there can be times you hit the ball hard, you get nothing out of it. There are times where you have a really good day at the plate. Well, he got rewarded in that last one, and I'm sure he was... Everybody in this lineup is possible. hitting. Dyrone Blanco, batting with one down, takes a strike. in the air right field and it drops in so they get a man aboard with a one out single that is good. next to hit Bobby Witt Jr. a big game for him last night he had four hits in that one runner takes off swing and a miss and safe it's a stolen base I'm not gonna that was close, but StatCast shows us why he so often seems to be on the safe side of these steal attempts, Chris. Yeah, he was out. Plus speed, and he needed every last bit of it to swipe that bag. Such a threat on the bases. And that's off the inside edge. And one and one. Just missed. One out and a runner at second here in the third and final game of the series. Next offering is in for a strike. On the ground to the left. Sends it to first. And Witt is out. Here's the Royals designated hitter, Nelson Velasquez. Okay. Breaking ball inside. One and zero. Pretty smart not to serve something up for him right there. He's really good at hitting the first pitch. And that gets the top of the zone for a strike. Runner at second, two down. Swings and misses, and it's one and two. I don't know that I'd ever played this game as badly as I did last night from a picture point. Let's go. We played an inning. No score.
trying not to get swept in back-to-back -back series. And welcome back to the ballpark. All set for the start of the inning. And here is Ryan O'Hearn. That's right, I didn't get swept against the Twins. I'm thinking of the series against the Brewers. And a foul ball. Hit. There we go, Ryan. Runner aboard to start the inning. I'd say a mistake pitch in an 0 2 count. Too good of a pitch to hit right there. You have to expand the Back to the fundamentals of baseball. Here's Ryan Mountcastle. Three hits and a loss last night. Not close okay. with that one, and it's one to know. Second inning here, no score. I should have never left Grayson Rodriguez in like I did. I gave up on that game last night. One one now. Up the middle. To first. One out in the second. Mm. That's a good swing, but right that's okay. There. The job was to move the runner up and give your team a chance to score the go-ahead run. That's exactly what happened. So you better believe your teammates are happy with you after that at bat. Austin Hayes, the next to hit for the Orioles. You could give this guy the player of the month right now, probably. There's a strike. First good strike right there for him. He's going to have to do that consistently if he's going to give any length to his skipper. Swing and a miss. No balls, two strikes. Larry Bullard making the pass behind the plate for us in this one. Pretty good strike zone. Well reviewed by those we talked to around the league. And there's a rocket into the outfield. Headed for the plate. The throw in. The tag out. Oh, really? Not much you can say here other than you should have listened to your third base coach. It's tough because we've all seen examples of this working out for players, but when it doesn't, it's a really bad look. Oh, here's the third baseman. So close. In the air, right field. Renfro in position, and that is that. And the Orioles leave one. Renfro does have, have one heck second, of an arm. No score. Okay, let's see if Tyler Wells can keep it up. Strike one. <laughs> oh, and two now. And down on strikes. And one away. Away, away, away. 
clearly that was the plan right there. He just you might know for sure with classic pitching how you affect the velocity, or is it just a crapshoot? First pitch just misses. Perez, the runner at first with one gone in the inning. Runner on the go. And one fouled off. Why are they always doing hit and runs with Salvador Perez? That makes no sense. And the righty deals. Goes down looking for the strikeout. He's got to be frustrated with that call. Definitely a borderline pitch right there. And Here we go. Too convinced as he headed back to the dugout. You know, those are tough ones to let go as a hitter, but with the human umpire calling balls and strikes, it's always going to be on you to protect yourself with two strikes. Here's Adam Frazier. Adam Frazier, who I had a good season with, with the Orioles last year. Strikes. I thought he, I was one of those that was not unhappy with him being on the team. Drive, makes the play and, it's out and the air doesn't so come back to haunt us. We'll move to the third with no score. Who knew that Tyler Wells may be the guy? Back here of course, in it's City, early. Top half of the third inning, the and base. stepping in is the speedy Jordan oh, Westberg. Oh. And the right hander back to work. Oh. Ironically, I thought my hitting would be the thing down all the way down at veteran. I thought my pitching would be a Hall of Fame plus when I do dynamic. Again, the Hall, the dynamic sliders started at Hall of Fame, so I've gone up and down from there. Gives you an idea how bad my pitching has been. Then I'm all the way down to All Star, not even at All Star plus. Pitch misses. Now two balls and a strike. And another ball. Good spot there, but didn't get the strike at the knees. Uh, about time the computer's getting squeezed instead of me. The mound as he tries to get a better sense of the umpire strike zone. The 3 1. That one misses. So a lead off walk. There we go, Westy. And now here is Cedric Mullins. 0 for 1 with a fly out to center. Swing and a foul back. That's out of play. Top of the third. No score. Swing and a pop up in foul ground. And they get Mullins for the out. One away. Missed opportunity there. Come on, Adley. Here's Adley Rutschman. He was a strikeout victim his first time. Rutschman measures six feet two inches, batting second in today's lineup, and he was selected to the All Star game last year. Hit on the ground might be two. On a second, they get one, and that's two. And so, so much for picking up Mullins. No errors and no one left. We head down to the home half of inning number three. This is going to be one of those games where I actually get pitching, but I don't get any hitting. Back here with my pal Siggy as we go to the last of the third. And to the play for Kansas City, Drew Waters. There's the strike. That was not where I wanted it. And he starts the bottom of the third with a double. He was all over that one. Man, that feels so good to shoot an absolute bolt the opposite way. Split the gap and know that you've got extra bases right off the bat. Michael Garcia, I like this guy. I think he's going to be a good player for the Royals. Good opportunity to push across the first run of the ball game. The 0-1. 
on the ground right side the flip to the pitcher covering one gone bottom of the third inning not a bad outcome in that spot third, and now they have a chance to drive in the go-ahead run it's not a knock but at the end of the day it's a good at bat Blanco up to bat next lays off the ball Some speed on first, so we'll see if they try to get him into motion. The one one runner on the and go, one. pitch misses. One. Throw no. save. That's a stolen base. Well, with that kind of elite arm he has behind the plate, man, it's a pretty big deal when you can swipe a bag against this dude. Maybe more than anything, it prevents teams from just testing him, thinking that they can even steal the base. But right here, they successfully move that runner up to scoring position. Good job. Swings and misses, struck him out. And Chris, that's a way to neutralize his speed by keeping him off base. And the defense breathes a sigh of relief because he puts pressure on everyone if he can put the ball in play. But that's how you do it. Keep him off balance, get him out of there, and deal with the next guy. Velasquez batting for the second time, and that's strike one. In there at the knees, and it's nothing in two. They have his stamina at. Only a 68. Great. Pitch. And downstairs. No, Just misses the mark outside the zone. One run across in the frame so far here in the last half of the third. Bounce to the left side. Tosses to first, inning over, and it could have been worse. But they pick up one okay, run on that's the RBI okay. single. It's now one. I can deal with one run. It's Major League Baseball as well as it's not pitching bad. I guess I better warm somebody up. Although. He turns on the rubber, and with that good live arm, delivers. Flips the corner, one one. And before the 0-1, he asks for time. Stays alive. And here it comes. Got it. And there's one down. Okay. Now the right fielder, Anthony Santander. Went down on strikes his first time Anthony through. Santander. There's a strike. Something I'm noticing in this one is that these hitters are aggressive early in the count. It makes you wonder if that was talked about in the hitters meeting before this game started. Comes up empty. Knocks that one away and we'll do it again. is in the dirt now one and two now a check swing but he held up this one popped out of the foul ground for the space side 
Good timing, but you pop it up. That's great. That hanging breaking ball looks so juicy to the hitter, and nothing more frustrating when you miss that pitch and you pop out. He's going to have to think about that till his next at bat. Sharp grounder. That's through for a base hit. And that keeps the inning alive. Okay, I need you to elevate. Waste no time there. That ball was drilled 106 off the bat, and that's the kind of feedback that tells you you're right where you want to be with your swing mechanics. Ripped on the ground a second. They take the force out, and that is that. One left for the Orioles. They're down 1-0. And welcome back to the ballpark. Bottom four, here's the catcher, Salvador Perez. The right-hander back to work. Fouled off. He was late. Well, these Royals showing great discipline at the plate, and patience definitely seems to be the name of their game in this one. Is it? Oh, and a nice sliding stop. Gathers and throws, and they get the out. You know, sometimes all it takes is getting to the next arm before the offense does any damage, and that might be the case today. And yeah, next up for the Royals, Vinny Pasquantino. Struck out looking at his first at bat. Right through there for a strike. Oh, one. one out, base is empty. Line drive, and that should be extra bases. Around first, heading for two. And that's a double. Couldn't have timed it up any better than that. Nice line drive with a pull side right there, but he didn't spin off of it. That's the key. You still have to extend through the baseball in order to hit a line drive like that. And ball one. Oh, Off the mark oh. there. Two and one. Man at second. That's to third. Fires across the diamond. And Renfro is retired. Up next to the Royal. So up now the for Kansas baseball. City, Adam, Adam Frazier. Frazier. Just off the outside edge, and that's ball one. Swing and a ball hit out towards left center field. Reach I'd have been so upset. And brings it in. Royals lead one. They lead it one nothing. I would have been. Ooh. And we're back. Here's the left fielder, Austin Hayes. Austin. And he deals. That misses. Ball one. You know, these Orioles just aren't putting great swings on the baseball in this one. Just one extra base hit for them, so they haven't exactly been hitting the ball gap to gap or out of the park. That makes it really difficult to generate runs. In for a strike. And a count one and one. In the air, right side. And it falls. You and can't the lead off keep single. Austin Hayes off the base. Here, with the way defenders Lamar. track down balls these yeah. days, I mean, both from the infield and in the outfield, there really aren't a lot of base hits on balls hit like that. But there's always a little room back behind the first and second. Oh, nice stop on a slide. Oh. Fired to second. A sensational double play. Sometimes double plays get to <laughs> <laughs> and how these guys execute them. right there really nice footwork and a good feed to second was the key to pulling it off at the play Jordan Westberg what first offering misses badly for ball one the Royals up by a run and we're at the top of the fifth I'm telling you this can't see team is better than people are giving it credit for and a foul ball The wind of the pitch. Swings through that. Well, this offense has just been locked down. Almost five full innings of shutout baseball. Got it by him for the K. Back here at Kauffman Stadium, Drew Waters stands in. Here comes a pitch. And immediately pumps in a strike to the left-handed hitter. 
I would like to get five on a Tyler Wells. So the lineup flips over and to the play for Kansas City, number 11. Now a drag bunt, third base side. Well, Singy, that was really nice looking. Able to get it down and in a good spot. And it makes it look easy. Really? Blanco stands in here, takes ball one low. Man at first, one away. That clips the corner. There's a foul ball. Kicks and fires. Fights that one away. Still one and two. And a pitch. Runner takes off. And that one is lifted in the air. Santander right there to make the grab. Two down. Junior steps in for the Royals. In the air to left down the line. And foul as it bangs off the fence. And a foul ball. Looks like you got a little excited on that fastball. Got to think to yourself, you want to stay up the middle. That way, if you're a little bit early, you hit it out of the Ooh, ballpark. You're thank God. Opposite field line. Two outs to the right side, Westberg. They get the force. Third out, and that ends the frame. So one left for Kansas City, but they're on top. <coughs> Back here in Kansas City, and now the center fielder, Cedric Mullen. Cedric Mullen. Okay, he's gonna get better. Swing and a miss as he was late. Just a bit late on that 0 1 breaking ball. 0 2 hole now. He's gonna have to shorten up, tighten things up if he's gonna have a good at bat. Next offering way off the plate. Where do you see a pitcher just waste a pitch like that? The batter wasn't even tempted to swing. Every pitch needs to have a purpose so that it can set up a following pitch to help you get that out. Out there to center. Waters drifts towards it. Makes the catch for the out. Adley Rutschman, the next to hit for the Orioles. That one pulled foul. The Orioles down by a run, and we're in the top half of the sixth. Hit hard, that gets through. <coughs> the Orioles have had their opportunities. Tyler Wells has pitched well, gave us five innings. Gunnar Henderson, the next to hit for the Orioles, one for two. Side and foul ball. Right into the play. Pretty frugal guy. He is very efficient with the pitch count in this one. Righty delivers. Good eye right there. Two balls, one strike. Foul with two strikes may see some movement over there at first base trying to stay out of the double play right here at the belt and fires and another ball Three calling this strikes. count runner not known for his speed but I think you got to put him in motion try to avoid a double play here boo. here goes the runner that ball is foul 
and the pressure is building. With the tying run on at first, near the third and final game of the series. Here's the pitch. Runner goes again. Gunnar Henderson with a two-run homer, and he is getting hot. He powers that one out of here, and now they're out in front. It's 2-1. That's his third straight game with a homer singing. This dude is on fire, boo. These kinds of streaks just... Three straight games with a home run. That home run was a no-doubter. As we dive into the numbers with Statcast. Crushed, boo. Just absolutely crushed. 112 miles per hour on the exit velo and... Like you said, no doubt about that one. Plenty of launch angle to give it that backspin as well, and that carried way over the wall. Now it's the right fielder, Anthony Santander. Well, I like this, an individual thing against the, the Royals. Sides equally as strong. I'd like to see more of this. So not a good time to try to turn him around with a relief pitcher and put him on the other side of the plate. Right through there for a strike. Double barreled action in the bullpen. Carlos Hernandez up and loosening in the pen. Brents also getting ready. And that one is inside ball one. Still only one out here in the inning. The one one is fouled off. One down, base is empty. No, that one no. just misses. In one second. Especially with two strikes. This one's Anthony Santon there goes back to back. A gigantic blast, and they add to their lead. It's three one. No pressure on the next guy, but that's back to back home runs. How many are they going to hit? Back homers always a special feeling at the ballpark, especially if it's your team that does it. Those guys get to slap hands at home plate. This is the kind of thing that can really fire up the ballpark. Manager out of the dugout now, and it looks like we'll see a change on the mound. Seth Lugo is done. Two-run ball game as he heads for the dugout, and we'll be back with a new pitcher. You know what? Up until this inning, he pitched very well, so I wouldn't. Be, if I was Kansas City, I wouldn't be booing him too hard. Here's a new pitcher from the pen, Carlos Hernandez. Pretty tight game, so they're looking for quality pitches out of him right here. Got to do his best to keep the score right where it is. Ryan O'Hearn comes up to him. I am literally almost on legend hitting. I can't believe that. Swing and a miss. And it's on one. O'Hearn, in his sixth season, 30 years old now. And he was drafted in the eighth round. Back into, oh, that ball got him pretty good out there on the mound. He can't flip it to the pitcher in time. And they catch a break as they get a base runner at first. Catcher coming out to check on him. It looked like it got him on his back leg. So you'll wonder if that might be a problem for him in terms of pushing off the rubber. Yeah, it's a great point, and we'll have to see how he looks. But to me, it appears he's moving pretty well. I think it's just going to sting for a while, but hopefully nothing more. One down. So next to hit for Baltimore, Ryan Mountcastle. Here's a high fly ball out to center. Waters makes the catch. Two away down. Austin Hayes will hit next. Austin Hayes. Hayes goes five feet, 11 inches, 200 pounds. And he's driven in eight runs over his last 10 games. 
Swing and a miss. Let's go, let's go. Come on, Orioles. Finish him. O'Hearn off of first with two away. On the ground is short. On to Frazier. And that is the inning. But two round trippers in this inning. The long ball was working. And this is now a three one ball game. Major League Baseball there we go. is on the show. Back here with my Where pal Singy. Bottom of the six. Now it's the DH, Nelson Velasquez. <laughs> I don't want to spoil the outing for uh hasn't pitched in the last three days. Number sixty-six. Jacob Webb. A wine in the pitch. There's a strike. 95 of that one. Well, these Royals finding ways to get on base, but they still need help driving them home. They only have one hit with runners in scoring position, so a lot of squandered opportunities. It's tough because those are moments you just can't get back. There's a swing and a drive. Santander ranging back, and that one is off the wall. Now he launches a throw over his head. A lot of times in today's game, he ah. able to get to a ball that stays in like that, but he hit that one pretty well. And if he hits it just a little bit different on the barrel, it's out of here easily. But there's oh. nothing wrong with the extra bases right there. In the dirt. And no movement on the bases. It's ball one. And it's second. And fouled off. In the dirt. Well done behind the dish. Two on that. Lifted in the air, right center field. Mullins in pursuit. He's got it. Runner tags and goes to third. They trust him in center field because he's capable of making plays on the run, and we saw it right there. That's a player you want patrolling center field. Someone who can attack the ball off the bat. Pasquantino oh. at the plate now. That's ball one. With the tying run at the plate, here in the bottom of the six. <laughs> Nice changeup. And he really sells the changeup with that arm action. Spoils the two strike pitch, and he'll see another. Right handed reliever. And a swing and a miss. Huge strikeout there. Well, that's always the key to effective pitching is getting ahead in the count. And as a pitcher, it really allows you to start expanding the zone. Hitters become defensive, and all of a sudden that plate starts to get really wide. And what happens is because of the pressure, you end up committing to a pitch as a batter before you recognize what it is, and that's what leads to the strikeout. And now it's even up. Two outs with a runner at third. That misses the zone, and it's two and one. In the air, left field. Please get there, please get there, please get there, please get there. He's got it, and that is out number three. And welcome back to the ballpark. New inning getting started. Down the third baseman, Ramon Urias. Hernandez back to work. A swing and a miss, and that's strike one. This to third. Whips it across. And a quick out number one. Good late bite on that slider. Got the hitter out in front, rolled over on it. Exactly what it was supposed to do. And into the box for Baltimore, Jordan Westberg. 
going well. Well, there's a certain point where you have no to ball. commit to One what trick. you think you see, and he guessed wrong right there. Nasty slider with just terrific bite at the end. He swings and fouls one off. I'm sorry, but I can't believe I lost when I scored 11 runs last game. One down, base is empty. Can't connect on the curveball, struck him out. That's a pretty nasty pitch right there. I'd call it a power curveball in the 80s. It's got so much spin on it, and you really don't have a lot of time to sit back and watch what it's going to do before you have to commit. It was a good one for the swinging strikeout. Two outs, base is empty. That one lifted in the air, center field. Waters sizing this one up and makes the play, and that's out number three. Ladies and gentlemen, it's time for the traditional seventh inning stretch. Seventh inning stretch time. So a new arm out of the bullpen for the Orioles, Danny Coulomb. He pitched yesterday, and we'll see him once again. Now it's the second baseman, Adam Frazier. And the first pitch misses for ball one. And that's outside. He's been raking in recent games, and a big reason why, getting ahead in counts. He's been able to do that consistently, and you see the results. Left-hand hitter waits. Spoils that one, and it remains two and two. Kicks and deals. In the air, out towards left center. He's Mom, got, got it. One up, one down. Drew Waters steps in for the Royals. Got a little bit lucky on that one. Looking on three pitches last time. Let's see if he can be a little more aggressive right here. That one finds the zone. That's strike one. Base is empty one away. Here at the bottom of the seventh. That one not close. And the count even one and one. And there's a ball. Good eye in that spot. First pitch strike from the pitcher, but then no panic at all by the hitter. Very patient, showing good discipline. Now he's in the driver's seat with the 3-1 count. And here it comes. Gets a piece there. We'll do it again. Three balls, two strikes the count. And that's ball four. It's tough after falling behind a hitter, two balls and no strikes. Uh, but now at least he gets a fresh start against a new batter, but he needs to get back into the strike zone and start pitching with conviction. He gave Adam Frazier 78 speed. Tying run at the plate. No. And it's one and one. Now this team is definitely looking for a big swing of the bat right here. Try to close that gap, but you know what the brother goes again. Right side. Santa Dare drifts towards it. Makes the grab, and there's two down. And next up for the Royals, Dyrone Blanco. Bounced out to short, Henderson. And that oh. is that. Royals lead one, and it remains a 3-1 ball game. Seven. Welcome back and a new arm on the mound to start the eight. Nick Anderson. Just trying to keep this one close here, and this is where a bullpen can give their players a chance to fight back into the game. Wouldn't mind at least at least one more run of run support. And first offering is fouled off. Pitch. Oh. <laughs> Down to the 
dirt swing and a miss. Damn, that was pretty gross right there. Let's go. And they'll do it again. That one missed. This guy's a fun guy to watch taking it bad. He just battles up there. He doesn't take a pitch off at all. Makes it so difficult on the pitchers out there. You can tell they get frustrated with how long it takes to put them away. Wouldn't chase that time. Out to center. Waters under it. And there's one away. The batter. the batter will be the shortstop Gunner, Gunner Henderson. Henderson. Back in the sixth, he drove a two-run shot out of here to help them get the lead they're working with. Yeah, definitely one of the bigger moments in this game so far, and it could be one we look back on when this game is over as well. Pitch misses outside. One and oh. And the right-hander deals. Swings through that one for strike one. Man, he was really tardy on that fastball. Great job of setting him up by throwing the curveball. Add some velocity to it on the next pitch. Can't catch up. Swing and a three hit game for Gunner. Gotta love it. Back -back or as the young so people say, down you down love to see it. Now batting, right fielder. So now the Orioles cleanup hitter, Santander. Anthony Santander. He's already homered here in this one. And there's a strike. No ball. One strike. <laughs> On the ground could be two. Over to Frazier. And it's a double play to end the inning. No runs, one hit, no errors, and no one left. Last half of the eighth coming up. It's the Orioles three and the Royals one. Ready for the bottom of the eighth. Now, here is Bobby Witt Jr. Coming on for the Orioles, Yenier Cano. These are the spots relievers really make a name for themselves. Late and close. There's not much margin for error, but at the same time, there's a reason they're put in these situations. That one at the knees for a strike. Cano, a former All-Star. He features a sinker, a changeup, a slider, and he works in a four-seamer. To third, and that's a fair ball! Around first and hustling for second. And he greets the new arm from the bullpen with a double. Man, he just absolutely turned on that one, ripped it down the line. Now, nice job of standing with mechanics. Nelson Velasquez, the next to hit. Swing and a miss as he was out front. As a pitcher, you know the runner on second is ready to push things with his speed. A base hit's probably going to be a big run, so you really have to execute on the mound. Tying run at the plate. And that's down and away. That one's in there. And out to a two. And a pitch. Strike three. Got him swinging. Not what you're looking for after the leadoff double. A strikeout. And there's one away. He's locked in at the plate. He's using the whole field. He was out in front there. Just needs to let the ball travel a little more. And his timing will be back on track. Good pitch for the strikeout. And now, Salvador Perez. And the pitch a little bit okay. low. Ball one. The Orioles trying to protect a two-run lead here in the bottom half of the eighth inning. Come on, Yenya. Yeah, yeah. And a count two and one. Swing and a miss. Talk about tying a guy up. That was ugly. The 2 2. He just misses there. Okay. The 
this one through. Right center field. That one hit for the fence and down. Really? He'll take a jog around the bases. Third home run of the season, and we are tied. It's 3-3. Chris, he's homered in back-to-back -back games now. Yep, oh. seeing the ball well, and he's got his timing locked in. He's looking pretty dangerous at the dish right now. Swing and a bouncer, oh. and he grabs it in foul ground. And a pitch. That one misses. Pitch. Now one and two. empty to short jumps throws awesome play there that play won't be trending on social media later on but it's still important to execute it to perfection this game is a lot harder than it looks Parker Renfro stands in with two away as he takes a ball. to the right side on to O'Hearn and Renfro is retired and that'll do it but two come across to score Salvador in the Perez. this two run homer we're tied now again I want some base. comments in the uh, comment section below the is show. Salvador Perez a Hall of Fame baseball player We're back. It's the top of the ninth, and there's a new pitcher on the mound, Jake Brents. Bringing in the lefty with the left-handed hitter coming up to hit. Classic bullpen move right here, so we'll see how it works out. The pitch. That one down the line, and it goes just foul. Why, oh, and... Hope can plan for Craig Kimbrell, but and now the lefty. Oh. And a swing and a miss there. They really need to hang in there with that front side against this left-handed breaking ball. and fires and that one hit 97 on the gun out to short wit tosses across the first now one gone in the ninth and now the DH Ryan Mountcastle you want to be a great defense you have to deliver consistently it doesn't matter how many highlight real plays you make if you can't Oops. execute the small stuff just Come like we saw. Bullpen action for the Royals. Chris Stratton getting loose out there. And he deals. I'll be honest with you. I would have been fine with Cano giving up one run, giving up anything but a two run home. That one is absolutely belted. Way back there. It's got a chance. Wow. Clutch, huge situation and an incredibly tough play. I thought it was going to drop for sure, but he makes what might be the play of the game. That was absolutely amazing. Austin Hayes now at the plate. That one blasted deep to right. That's back. And that one is going to go. Austin Hayes. Out in front, it's 4-3. That's their third home run of the game. They're having a lot of fun at the plate in this one. They've got the long ball working for them on autopilot. Elevated fastballs, especially away, are like putting the ball on a tee. Hitters do a lot of cage work. They're comfortable hitting off the tee. Oppo taco. Right there, hitting that ball opposite field for a home run. Here's the third baseman, Ramon Urias. Ball on the mound. 
and this is a spot where he's got to treat this as a clean inning. Forget about the home run. Forget about now being behind on the scoreboard. Start fresh and get those hitters back up to the plate as quickly as possible. I need a big win. I need something to feel good about. <laughs> Swing and a miss, and he got him to chase. And it's strike two. Well, that's 89 on the gun, and it's a changeup. It's like good hitting if you're looking for it, but because of the speed differential between the fastball and that pitch, really hard for a hitter to get on time with it. <laughs> Bounced up the middle. And that one handled. He's in there. Up next to the wall, the second baseman, Jordan Westberg. And next for the Orioles, Jordan Westberg. Struck out on just three pitches last time. Swing and a miss. Strike oh, one. Crowd locked in right now. One run. I am literally on Hall of Fame Plus hitting with broadcast camera. Swing and a miss, and that's strike two. That misses the zone. And the count one and two. Well, he missed badly with that 0 2 fastball. The hitter has to understand. Probably wants to try to put him away with that pitch, so got to stay ready for it. That one misses, and the count's even at two. <coughs> and a swing and a miss, and that's that. And some late inning drama here in the ninth as this homer gives them the lead. It's now a 4-3 ball game. <sighs> Welcome back, and here comes the closer, Craig Kimbrell. Well, the best relievers Your love the opportunity lead. to come in now and protect a tight lead, lead late in the ball game. Some of them are just wired yeah. different, so we'll see what he's got here. And that one fouled off. One run game, bottom nine. This one in the air center field. Mullins settles under it. Hauls it in, and there's one away. Well, such a confidence boost for a reliever to come into the ball game and get the first hitter he faces. Just makes everything slow down a little bit, and then from there can really settle in. When Drew Waters has four RBIs against you in a series, that's a problem. In the box here, lets that one go for a ball. A one-run lead. We're in the last half of the ninth inning. There's a strike. out to center field. Mullins settles under it. And there's two away. Now that third base. So it's their last the, uh, chance in this one. Number 11 digs in now. That one's in there. It's 0-1. Just missed. Trying to close out a one-run lead. And the home team trying to pull it out. And another ball. Out towards left center. Hayes out of the field. Hayes has got and it. He's got it. And the Orioles and the finally in their loose shoot. Thank God. Four games wasn't too long of a losing streak, but they're definitely happy to be back in the win column. Now you can turn things around, get on the right track, and probably start a winning streak from here. <sighs> oh. 
Austin Hayes has been unreal. Alright, so we will start the next live stream going against the Los Angeles Angels of Anaheim, the Shohei Otani list Angels. Royals do very unfortunately win the series. This afternoon, first for the victorious Orioles, four runs, 12 hits, one error, they left seven runners on base. For Kansas City, three runs on eight hits, no errors, they left seven runners on base. Time of the ball game, three hours and two minutes. Overall, don't feel like I pitched that badly. For joining us here this Saturday, really one bad Two bad pitches. Drive home safely. We will start the next. You know, we'll start the next series with the Angels. The next video, I will be doing a preview of the series, and I will take a gander around the league at the league leaders for everybody. The Oakland A's have a better record than I do. That's just great. We look to get back to 500. In the next video. Like the video. Or like the stream here. Subscribe to the channel. On the road with a thousand subscribers. Can't thank you guys enough for all the support. Uh, there will be links in the other channels to follow... My other franchise, my fellow franchise streamers that I support. See you all next time.